Well hello, my name is Rod Birch. I'm a farmer at Karoo in Western Australia and these are my pulses. Been a farmer for about 30 years now, growing um, all types of crops, wheat, canola, lupins. But um, today I'd like to talk about lupins because they're a legume which is a very important part of our cropping rotation. But to explain a little bit more about that, I'd like to introduce our agronomist, David Cameron, and David will give, point out a few of the features of the lupins. Thanks, Rod. Uh, WA, we've got a lot of uh, light, uh, sandy soils, acidic uh, soils, where the lupins really well adapted uh, to growing. Um, likes the, uh, the climate that we have here. Um, but most importantly, it's a, uh, it's a legume that can handle those sort of soil conditions. Um, nodulates really well, uh, fixes nitrogen, uh, helps us grow uh, cereals and um, we really value them for, for that but uh, also for uh, what it does in terms of disease, uh, both uh, root diseases, we're finding them really uh, good at uh, suppressing the nematodes uh, that are present here uh, in these uh, uh, acidic sands, these lighter soils. Uh, but also the foliar diseases, we get a good break um, from, uh, from the wheat diseases, uh, more specifically on Rod's farm, uh, but the same is true for barley as well, where that's grown. So uh, they're, the, they're the most uh, valuable uh, things that we get from, from the lupin agronomically. Uh, they're also good for, for rotating herbicide uh, chemistry, the different groups can come in uh, for, for the lupins as well. Uh, but there, uh, that's it in a nutshell. Think, Rod. Yeah, thanks, David. There's another um, reason, other than the nitrogen and the the value that it um, creates in the paddock for us as farmers and the following crops, and that is, we're um, very proud to be able to see the lupins now being developed into a human food ingredient and making a making a very <laughs> Um, big impact into the human food ingredient market and we've got um, people that are working in this area and putting a lot of time and effort into coming up with um, recipes and um, products that are appealing to the, to the customer it is um, they take the grain has been taken and milled and turned into a flake of which I have a packet here and then the flake can be used as just like a crumb in any um, recipe or added to any other, um, you know, any other form of cooking where it, because it is very adaptable. Probably one of the most important points with it, it is about 40% protein and about 36% fibre. So a very, very healthy food ingredient and it has one of the widest amino acid ranges of any food type. So it's, it, it presents particularly well as a, um, as a food in our diet, in a healthy diet. Okay, well, we'd just like to finish up now by saying that 2016 is the International Year of the Pulse. Get on board.